F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fans? If you're new to the channel, Welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F the Blog. Friend requests reviews. We're friend requests friends to watch The Wire Season 5, Episode 3, titled Not for Attribution. Now, last episode was wild, man. McNulty out here. I don't know what McNulty doing right now, to be honest. He out of, <laughs> he out of line. I, I have no clue what he's doing, what he's up to, and how this is going to pan out for, for for the rest of the investigation. So, yeah, man. Um, also, too, uh, I want to see where, where Bubs ends up because it seems like we're kind of right. focusing a little bit more on him, too, as well. So, I'm definitely, you know, been enjoying the ride so far, but I can't wait to see what they have for us today. How about you, Formal? How you feel going in? I feel good, man. I feel good going in. Like you said, McNulty, Bubs, definitely, definitely top of mind. Uh, definitely want to see what Carcetti got going on as well. His his political career is just looking, it's looking very interesting. He got a lot of, he got a lot of a lot of shit on his plate that he got a stomach. So I don't I don't think it's gonna end well for him to be honest. But we'll see, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so far season five has been it's been cool. So let's get into it, man. I'm ready. Listen, man, we're not going to hold you here any longer. We're just going to dive right into this episode. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and also don't forget to subscribe, okay? The goal is 10K. Only way we're going to get this is if you click that button, also click that bell, so you get notified when we go live. Let's get it. Go, baby. Oh, damn. Ooh, the wire snapped my neck. Starting with your favorite guy. What you in here fabricating, McNulty? Hmm. Hmm. That's somebody's signature right there, the the red ribbon killer. That's what he's looking up. Serial killers. Think again about what the fuck you're doing. Yep, Bunk. no he is. This can work. It can. Fuck you. I mean that. Still drinking. Oh, Jimmy, four in the fucking morning? <laughs> oh, so it is. <laughs> Motherfucker, we have kids. Houses, car payments, furniture. Jimmy. Think. I this was not too bad. He <laughs> 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 heard them alibs in the hole, in the hole. <laughs> that man had the <laughs> you hear it? Uh, yeah, I hear him now. <gasps> when he when he moment. when he say that shit, I feel like he moves his shoulders. Like the dead where it doesn't count, Fletcher. Huh? Them ghetto murders. Hmm. The red ribbon killer. The Red Ribbon Killer, the Red Ribbon Army. I know this man about to buy some corner store gifts. Okay. He's still doing police work. No, he's not. He's doing criminal work right now. <laughs> no, he not. He investigating. Yeah, he investigating how to frame freaking serial killers. <laughs> he about to go start tying ribbons around niggas' yep. wrists, man. Yep. Look at it. Look at him. <laughs> this man is sick. What is this? I was praising you so much in season four, man. <laughs> nah, he is really wild for that. Huh? Uh, make it. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck hating this man right now. Because he's like, look at. Imagine if he used his powers for for not good. Like this is what's happening right now. He's watching him go to the dark side. And it's I'm pretty sure. Look at him. He's just like, this is amazing. 
<laughs> Your piece took a bad bite there. 35 inches down to 12. Yeah, well, it's my fault for giving it up to the A section. Page one editor made noise like he was going to go out front, and then he tosses it back to the Metro before the double dot. Night editor didn't have room to take it back, so the story deserved better. Sorry. Wrong zip code. Mm. They're dead where it doesn't count. Okay, that's what they were said. white, murdered in Timonium. You'd have had 30 inches off the front. Would have been my first front page of where I didn't share a byline. Yeah. I know what y'all need in y'all life. A little bit McNulty in my life. <laughs> he about to go through with the murders. The serial killer. There you go. Nothing under the nails that I can see. Then we can risk prints. <laughs> the news hole is shrinking as advertising dollars continue to decline. <laughs> Our circulation numbers are also down as we compete with a variety of media. Technology is driving distribution. And the internet is a free source of news and opinions. Yep. That I tell you that Chicago has made it clear that the bureaus in Beijing, Moscow, Jerusalem, Johannesburg, and London will all be shuttered. Whew. We are you know quite simply going to have to find ways to do more with less. In addition to the fractured hyoid and the bruising, I got signs of a struggle around the body. A couple of witnesses. We thought they heard sounds of a struggle inside the house. Cause and manner is homicide by strangulation. Good hunting, detective. <laughs> it's actually working. How come there's cuts in the newsroom when the company's still profitable? Yeah. There's nobody that feels worse about this than I do. I've seen the excellent work we've done here in Baltimore. Mm. The sooner we start meeting with you individually, yeah, real the sooner I can answer all of your questions. I mean, does that shit like the Matrix? Individually, huh? Some of y'all walking out with tears. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, yeah look, pretty, everybody. <laughs> pretty much. That's I heard somebody whisper that shit. <laughs> Ooh, look where they at, yo. We here, full circle. Yeah, I forgot he met up with uh, Sergi. Mm-hmm. Just let him know Marlo came past with a gift. To Be at your same time tomorrow. <laughs> Marlo tried to put his footprint out there. Any idea how long this could take? <laughs> Don't know. Might be here all day. Meeting schedule. Clay Davis. No, oh, is that what Mr. it's about? Mr. Howard. Is there any way I could go earlier? <laughs> if you're important enough, sure. I'm the vice president of a major financial institution. You go fuck it. Yeah, them two other niggas just I look quiet. Like. Value your dedication. You've done excellent work. We're counting on you to transition the new team. There's still going to be excellent talent out there that needs to be developed. What kind of team's going to be left? <laughs> We're losing good people. Doing more with less. That's what we have to contemplate going forward. More with less, huh? Yep. Okay. okay. <laughs> we on the block. Want to talk on it? Talk on what? How he feeling? Well, we're christening him. Oh, about the whole. Sit up on this family. Everything's so serious now. <laughs> you think? You think? You catching bodies, kid? Oh, he down with all kind of missionary work going on down in the islands. You know, building a church for some folk, a schoolhouse for some other folks, all kind of good shit like that. Hmm. And what else y'all building? A hospital. 
Hospital, yeah. <laughs> you pay 10 on the dollar. Anything beyond that depends on your generosity to save those who want to be saved. <laughs> Oh, Russell comes over here and just. Yo, shit up. What the fuck? Check this shit out. Oh, wow, McNulty. Just in the parking lot. Come on, McNulty. This <laughs> shit. They really yeah. gonna keep it moving. And he just went back to business. <laughs> Yo, and she also went back to business. <laughs> Mayor's thinking about firing the police commissioner. He's floating the idea anyway. Yeah, no problem. I'm all over it. What do you know about Daniels? Who is he? CID commander. Came out of the Eastern DEU. Married to the Daniels yeah. at one. Police reporter. He should know. Mm. Since getting separated, he's been shacked up with Ronnie Perlman over at the state. Mm, yeah. Damn, he, he that. got everything. Career. But now that he's got Carcetti's ear, now the brass stay out of his way. What's the man's favorite color? Facts. <laughs> Yeah, he did his job, man. He tried and true. You sure? Yeah. What the hell? I'm already on the clock. I respect it. I respect it. He's gonna go song. out. For real. You feel me? Doing his... Yeah, you're, you're trash. Generous gift. But your money, the money you bring me, I don't need. Money is money. <laughs> It's dirty money. Mm. It stinks. Everything is clean. My job. Ain't a problem. Good. Goodbye. See Marlo, man. He don't say much. You never really know what that nigga thinking. Hey, Bunk. What kind of knot you say was on that red ribbon? <laughs> He's still doing this. One on the homeless guy's wrist. Fuck yourself with your red ribbon. <laughs> Just thought of something. I caught a vagrant months back, had a red ribbon tied around his wrist. You remember that? Hell of a catch, detective. Hell of a catch. Can you see your file? <laughs> that shit finally. Well, speaking of co-op, tell them niggas that got burnt I'm giving away 50 for a line of Omar's people. Hmm. His sister, his me ma, some fag he be with. All that shit count, you hear me? I'd let sleeping dogs lie, son. Uh, I know you would, Joe. I mean, you smart like that. Hmm. Come back for this here in an hour. An hour? These niggas move quick, boy. I know Cheese still want him. Boy, I want Omar bad. Man, I ain't giving him a thing on Omar. Omar been gone. He don't want him back. Took a lot of bad history with him, too. <laughs> He's scared. He had him sweating. Why in the hell would I want that motherfucker back? <laughs> Joe scared. The big bad wolf, man. You already know. Is this, is, is this? He's killing vagrants, is he? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. He added like three, three splurges. <laughs> he about to leak this shit. Baltimore Sun Gutierrez. Oh, really? Uh huh. Yeah, he's struggling. He like, I need a story. I don't want to get fucking laid off. I mean, this man was out in the field struggling. Like, come on now. If you're gonna, if you're gonna slam somebody anonymously, I at least have to be sure that the quote comes from Reese Campbell. She's not gonna slam the mayor's choice publicly, but not for attribution. He said that's coming from the Reese. Twig's not the only guy who's game around here. Hmm. He's like, I could pull my own weight. Nah, this nigga be lying. Let Von just know I ain't mean no misunderstanding early. Hello. <laughs> now you smile. There you go. <laughs> Change the tune. <laughs> Say no ghetto money. I heard your stories. They're good. Bullshit. Thanks. You're about to ruin this woman. You're gonna run something right away, right? Gotta get the word out on this. 
kind of name is Alma? I have a boyfriend, detective. <laughs> yeah. He bigger than me. <laughs> Police with twenty thousand oh, dollars in cash. On advice of my turn. Oh, Ashley, Larry. you're trying to criminate me. How are you able to earn three salaries working three jobs at the same time, Mr. Price? Mm. Got him. <laughs> I can't breathe in that motherfucker. Tearing his ass up in there. Blind motherfucker. His joint on Collington on the east side of the street. If he mm. give up Omar, though, I want in on that shit. Mm. This nigga put a gun in my face, man. Joe know about Butchie? Motherfucker, I know about him. Joe don't know shit about this here. And he ain't need to know. Jeez. Man, they made it. $200. Oh, look, look, look at these these. niggas is hella mad. Hey, y'all have fun today, nigga. We're no school today, so we took bug to do something, ain't okay? It is when you don't tell no one. Now, how they come down here all day long to make sure your shit is straight? Yo, count right? Yeah, all straight. Ain't the point, you know it. Chris already heard about this shit. They trying to hate on this nigga. Nice dolphin, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nice dolphin, nigga. <laughs> How dare you niggas have fun? <laughs> you can, you, you can when you in the, they, they in the murdering business here. Come on now. It don't matter what they in, nigga. They just under someone's foot. That's what it is. You got any prior convictions? Yeah, nothing that right. We get you a passport then. Hmm. Go fly out there, you know. Take a trip. Hmm. Ain't easy civilizing this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's funny, nigga. It ain't I'm gonna just happen. Imagining Marlo at the dinner table right now, trying <laughs> to eat with a soup spoon and salad fork. <laughs> yeah, man. Mm, there he is. <clears throat> bah! Bah, bah. That was in the intro. I knew it. That phone off the hood. Look, all them lines going on. What you think, Ross? Uh. <laughs> oh my God. You see that quote from somebody about me stabbing Burrell in the back? It's a damn lie. So what? She says, so what, nigga? You better get your mind right. This is good news. How is this not good news? Nah, he someone lined up it. on my name, like, you fuck out of here. What's Put some respect said, on it. Got my word in my balls, that's it. <laughs> you feel me? That's it. You cheap motherfucker. <laughs> you cheap, cheap motherfucker. It's <laughs> real. What page you on, McNulty? You feel me? He's looking for it. Oh, there it is. What's that? Mm. That's in the fold, over the flap, 24 <laughs> inches to the right, 6 inches from the main. I got a blind man some flat hair. They about to come through for it. Oh. Tell me the butts, what they gonna do though. No, sir. That's if you got some question. idea on <laughs> Cash is in the register. Fuck the register, old man. Hmm. You know what we here for? Yep, you know. Woo! Do you hear me? We going to jail. Focus, motherfucker. He is. He about to pull a Hail Mary. Real, Relax. He is focused. That nigga, he didn't even say nothing. Just threw the jacket on. Well, then you have to tell him that you won't take the job, that you don't want his chair. And he believes me. The alternative is that he goes public with what he knows. Whatever he has mm. about the old days. But if it's between you and him surviving, hmm. what do you think he'll do then? Exactly. Exactly. The 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 room. Oh, the lies. They're coming back. Mm. Man. What other people Omar got? You don't have to be messy. Ain't no other way I can see that. <laughs> There's no other way I can see that. This man is 
<laughs> You're tough. He, yeah, he is. X. He's eating that shit. <laughs> All right, that's why they left the dude on the floor alive. I let him know they mean business. <laughs> All I need is some help with this grand jury nonsense. Hey, you go to Bond, you tell Bond that I can't help you with that. The story's been out all day and our phone isn't ringing. The ministers, Norris, the caucus, they're willing to live with Daniels, apparently. Hmm. Thanks anyway. Thinking you can cut Clay loose, huh? <laughs> Thinking I'm done. One more stutter? <laughs> she Clay ain't never done. <laughs> Okay, we in the we in the islands. Alright. It's mine. I got my money. Oui, monsieur. J'ai juste besoin de ça. Ça? Oui. Trying to civilize this motherfucker. <laughs> okay, Monsieur Marlowe. Mm. She looking like he like the way that sound. He liked the way that sound. He like, let me travel some more. <clears throat> Monsieur Milo. Had a boy. Instant serial killer. Which I thought would get the brass to begin kicking out some money to work real cases. Like Marlo. Like Marlo. <laughs> he told fucking Lester about this shit. Shit like this actually goes to your fucking brain. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does. If you don't want to listen to your partner, then listen to Lester. He has all the wisdom you need, boy. Joker. In the world. Like, Lester's the godfather of the police world, like, of the Baltimore PD. Look at Lester thinking. This is just clicking. Yeah. Tell him. He like it. You know I mean? If he like it, I think. Right, straight up strangles not enough. Look, he look. Not if it's some vagrant. Vagrant? <laughs> he look. He what likes are you talking it. about? Sensationalize it. <laughs> Give the killer some fucked up fantasy. Something bad. Yeah. Real bad. So people it's fear. It's got to grip the hearts and minds. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Funk is the only simple motherfucker. No, Look, you say you're on to something. I only need a few weeks to pull down Marlo Stanfield. You fly this mess right, you can give it to me. <laughs> Who gives a damn if we fake a couple of murders that we're never going to solve? Uh. No one cares. I'm out of yeah. here. Yeah. Get out of here, Bond. We got to give your killer a name. Mm-hmm. We have to kill again. This nigga. <laughs> Do you hear this? Say it like that now. For real. <laughs> we Don't have say it to like kill that. again. <laughs> like what? It? Recibí una llamada. Tengo mala noticia. ¿Qué pasa? Butch dead. Mataron a Butchie. Mm hmm. You know. All you gotta do is hear the name and you know. Man. Back to the States, brother. It's time to come back. I'm going, going back, back to be more, be more. <laughs> All right. There we have it. The Wire, season five, episode three in the books. Yeah, man. <laughs> This is the, I see, I, I see, this is the turning point for the fans, huh? I'm guessing it, ha it has to be the McNulty shit that really just turning people off to this show because it just doesn't feel like the why to me. But um, overall, I thought the episode was alright. How about you, Former? How you felt about this one? It was cool. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? We trying to. They trying to get us to the end, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. it's, they're still. I I don't see. I don't see it though. That's the thing. I just don't see what the what the finale is gonna look like. Like me either. So I'm just. I'm trying to enjoy the pace and the ride right now because there was a second. I want to say. I, I want to say. I talked about it during season four. Maybe. Or maybe it was episode one of this season. But I was kind of like, I wonder if Marlo is actually going to survive, like, the entire series. Like, mm. And um, that's kind of how this episode damn near had me feeling a little bit. Like, unless unless this McNulty plan really works, Lester talk about he could bag him up in two weeks. But, um, yeah, I'm just kind of like, I kind of like it, though. I like being, I like not knowing what the finale is going to feel like because there's, like I said, there's still stories. They're showing 
Michael and, and, and uh, uh, Dookie again and shit like that. Um, I don't think they're going to show the other Summer Boys ever again. But <clears throat> Michael still definitely has enough presence for us to want to know how his story is going to end. So, yeah, I'm just like, OK, with the addition of the newsroom, like, how are they going to wrap this all up? So I had a good I had a cool. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Yeah, I mean, overall, the, the the episode was fun. Like, you feel me? Um, I just asked that question in the beginning because, you know, a lot of people don't enjoy season five like that. And I'm just wondering, is it the McNulty thing? Because it does feel a little bit off. But talking about the man, we might as well dive in into the Red Ribbon Killer because uh, McNulty is out there on the, on the loose. <laughs> Cause it ain't nobody else but McNulty, who's literally fabricating all the evidence for this uh, for this new case. What's your thoughts on it, man? So, uh, I mean, his heart's in the right place. Like his heart's in the right place. I get what I get. What he's trying to do. Like, is there a better way to go about it? Honestly, probably not. Like this, this more the the. There's there's no way you just go to these extremes like unless you truly have to. So like I feel where Bunk is coming from and shit like that. Like he doesn't want to get his hands tied up with this, but I also feel where McNulty's coming from. These fools have no resources, they have no money, they got nothing. And they still want to do real police work. So it's tough. This it is, is tough. tough. This is tough, but I see where you're coming from. I'm Listen. with it, man. I'm with Lester. I'm like you with Lester. Lester? I'm, I'm with, with Bunk. Listen, Bunk can't fake the funk. You feel me? It's just it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? We can't fake that shit. Uh, but it, yeah, it's funny that Bunk had a great idea. It was a great idea to bring Lester into this, but it backfired so badly on him. Like <laughs> he he just played it. Played into it even more, saying we need to get him a name. You know what I'm saying? We got to get him a little fetish or some shit. You know, throw it out there. I'm with it, man. You got to think about that shit, bro. That's There's 22 bodies that they literally yeah. had to let go of. Like, Yeah. So, like like I said, this is just the extreme. Like, this is a turning point for, for McNulty. Like, how can you... Like, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I disagree, man. I disagree with people saying that this is out of character, bro. Because we seen McNulty off the hinge, bro. We've seen him. We've seen him. Like, we obviously never seen him fucking tamper with evidence. But we seen the man off the hinge before. And then we got, like, a solid season without him. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I feel like that kind of... I, I think McNulty's turning point season, like, gave people a false sense of who McNulty really was. That that was the fake McNulty, mm -hmm. motherfucker. You yeah. feel me? That was the fake McNulty. <laughs> we are back to the real. This McNulty probably would have did something like this back in season three or four if he wouldn't have, if he didn't disappear for a full season. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's the way like he was going downhill with with his drunken shit. Like it's like what they say so, when you smoke. Like you 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 quit, and when you come back, you smoke even more. It's kind of mm -hmm. like what McNulty did. He he stopped being McNulty for a little while, came back, but now his extreme now binged is it. is on another yeah. level. Like <laughs> he binged it. He binged it. It's like when you don't eat sweets. That's my problem. I don't eat sweets, and then when I do, I go crazy because I I'm like, oh shit, nigga, it's been a while. So I'm about to eat all the cupcakes, nigga, all the like everything, nigga, like. And then I be like, oh, nigga, this shit disgusting. I don't want another Yo, fucking and then sweet a thing for a couple days month, later. Like, but... damn, why ain't no snacks in the crib? Like... <laughs> so I don't know. Like I'm kind of with it. I'm with mm -hmm. it. I, I see his vision. I see his vision, and I'm glad Lester backed them up. Like. Because I feel that, bro. That's 22 bodies that they left on the table. Yeah, it's and it's not like they going out and killing people themselves. Like, True. Motherfuckers is already dead. Like, And then to to their point, to their point, not McNulty's point, to their point, nobody gives okay. a fuck about the homeless anyways, right? Mm -hmm. So, shit, let that man experiment and hypothesize <laughs> and, fucking, <laughs> and build a case off of the homeless if nobody cares about these motherfuckers. Oh, my God, man. What a, what a, what a turn of events. Like, I, 
Uh, going into season five, I didn't think we were coming here. Especially like you said, the 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 the, the fake McNulty that they gave us last season to the complete turnaround. The very first episode was a little, it's a little jarring. You know what I'm saying? It's a little like, damn. <laughs> Not only are we getting McNulty back, this is McNulty is he different? Oh, I know he diff mm-hmm. in Overwatch standards. <laughs> Um, we got the Marlo situation, of course, popping off. Um, he making moves. He making moves, like 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 he like we said, man. Avon the king, at the end of the day. But right now, since nobody out on the streets, Marlo is he's standing strong and he's standing tall, and he he made some moves. Like he got, uh, he's cleaning his money now. He talk about he got so much money that it's becoming a problem. He's officially met. Uh, Damn, I'm mad I forgot his name. I don't know why I was going to say Valdez, and I know that's hella wrong. But, yeah, he officially met met the, you know. Voracek? No, no, no. Nah, the Greek's number two. Something like that. Voris. Yeah, something like that. He officially (laughs) met that fool and got the money proper to him. So, there's no telling what that's going to do. Because, like, he, he was acting like he don't want nothing to do with Marlo it all got to go through Joe type shit, but Marlo persistent. He like, fuck it. I'm going to go clean the money, bring it back again. So we got to wait for that second meet to see what happens. Cause Marlo trying to, he trying to get rid of the middleman. Like he want, he want to, he want to do what it do, what it do, what it do. So I'm trying to see how that's going to look for him because you know, prop Joe want that co-op. He want that co-op to stay. He want that co-op to stand Marlo. He don't really care. He just care that he the man. And you know, there was a couple other things that transpired where I feel like Prop Joe is gonna feel a little betrayed uh, by a couple of moves here. So, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really interested in that and in, in that particular moment because Cheese supposed to still be beefing with Marlo as well, but he still ran over there f- for for that money. So I don't know. Yeah, the money we'll and and Omar, you know. So, I mean, you said why I not? I guess he hate Omar more than Marlo. Yeah, yeah. Who wouldn't? I. I I'm pretty sure if you're a drug dealer in, in freaking Baltimore, you would hate Omar as well. At one point, he probably robbed your ass. So, nah, that's facts. <laughs> so that's it is what it is. Time. Yeah, Mar- Marlo is definitely he he definitely made some big moves this uh, this episode. Um, like Prop Joe said, trying to civilize this man is changing him to a different beast, and uh, it's gonna be interesting to see if he really can keep this shit afloat and. I'm guessing if the things work for McNulty and them, possibly they could get the case up and running again and maybe mm-hmm. do something. But knowing how they got, know how they're getting to that point could possibly be a hindering factor for them. So it's just like now I'm really wondering, <clears throat> is Marlo going to survive this somehow? Like You know what I'm saying? Um the, the, the opportunities are there for him to, to escape yep. with um with the crown and and and, mm-hmm. and all the money in the bank if with you know so <sighs> it's, it's yeah. that's what I'm thinking bro because I mean like because we we have we definitely have enough episodes to bag prop Joe yeah Marlo yep even even I don't know if we're gonna get the Greek Greek but maybe even the second in command like but I yeah, don't know. Yeah. Like I feel like, I feel like it uh, it might it might add that extra drama slash realism if at least one of them motherfuckers make it out of this situation. Like, so it'll be crazy. It'll be it'll, yeah. I want I want to. I can't wait. I can't wait, man. I'm getting excited now. <laughs> Listen, Westside <laughs> might come out on top for real, for real. So um, man, yeah, Marlo's definitely doing his thing. Um. I guess we could talk about the, the good old politics, man. Cause it seems like shit is shit has hit the fan. We might as well touch on Omar first. It's only Omar? a little piece. Yeah, I mean, what what is there to say about the man on hey, Lollipop? <laughs> yeah. Like <laughs> I mean he coming back, nigga. That that's that in his own of course we knew he was coming back somehow we found out it was through butch because we had that conversation before i i was thinking it was old girl that shakes 
that shakes up the scene though because cheese gave up the information so what does that mean does that mean what that he's gonna be going after everybody nah i'm just saying that's gonna shake up how prop joe is gonna be feeling about shit. the co-op about to implode my nigga. that's what i'm saying niggas can't be trusted anymore that's his cousin bro right a nephew or some shit? Mm, i think it's nephew yeah i think it's nephew. you feel me this is the man that prop joe said i wouldn't give up like he said i'll give up anybody else but not cheese bro that's my fucking sister's son or some shit. so i'm just saying bro this this that's what i'm saying that scene to me was a little bit it's impactful in my opinion like because that's that nigga not supposed to do that, bro. He wasn't supposed to do that That's shit. That's very man. true. Very true. He wasn't supposed to do that. So when Omar come back, Prop Joe going, he going to sniff that shit out, bro. Mm, so you're saying he's going to have to clip his own family? I don't know what he's going to do. I just know the co-op about to implode. Like, yeah. Honestly, no one else even matters in the co-op. Like, to, it's, just, it's really like Marlo, Prop. Slim. Uh slim you feel me like the rest of the niggas i don't even it is what it is with them i feel you but i feel like this shit about to implode just because of that little trio situation right there nigga. yeah it definitely Between will and, it, and prop it might leave marlo <laughs> exactly where he want to be at facts at war with everybody standing dolo yeah possibly <laughs> possibly potentially on top Cause that's a lot of uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just I think it'll be, it's just gonna be. I think it's gonna create some some interesting drama between the three of them. Cause Prop Joe might fuck around and, and give Omar the information he needs. Cause you know Prop Joe stay playing both sides. He be playing defense. That boy be playing mm. defense. So that's a good point. So yeah. Well, yeah. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, especially knowing how scared that man is of Omar yeah he might spill all the beans you're right you're right exactly I mean we'll see we'll see how it goes we uh, it, it was only a matter of time when Omar was gonna show up because we know he can't stay in retirement for too long all right go ahead get into your politics man do what you do I mean it, it, we politicking right now you know what I'm saying that's what we're doing Poli- no yeah man politics bro it's it's yeah, Daniel's on the way up. And uh it seems like Carcetti is just letting all of this all of this play out. Which is I don't I don't think Carcetti even knows about the only person that knows is Burrell, right? Burrell I, I think somebody else knows as well, right? Burrell and somebody else? About Daniel's about what? uh Oh past? Past, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't think Carcetti knows at all. So I it's know, like did they have a moment where he told him I don't know. I feel like I feel like I'm somebody else knows. I just can't pinpoint who it is. But it's just it's interesting to see that this can possibly be a fucked up situation for everybody right now because Daniels is in the he's he I wonder what his decision is gonna be. I'm very interested in that. Is he gonna stand his ground and just you know, try to ride this wave, or is he really gonna just deny the the position and just be like, I'm comfortable where I'm where I'm at right now. So it's it's gonna be interesting, man. I can't wait to see how is how, how's it all gonna pan out. What's your what's your thoughts on that, man? I hope he take that shit, man. Fuck Burrell and all that. I don't know what his past is or what it got going for him. Yeah. But he deserve he des- he deserve he deserves it, man. He deserves all the good things that come to him. Hopefully, whatever it is is enough. But I mean, I don't know. His wife made was making good points. Like all he needs is smoke for real. He don't even really need to start a fire. Like especially when it comes to the the, the politic game. Um, so I don't know, man. I'm really interested. I don't, I don't know if he's gonna go talk to Burrell and and let him know that he didn't really say that shit. Because at the end of the day, even if he does go and tell Burrell he doesn't want the position. Burrell's out the door. Like, motherfuckers is not keeping yeah. it. Like, Carcetti let that be known. He, he let that clear. And then now that he cooked the books, he's definitely gone. So, who knows? Maybe maybe Burrell just realizes that he lost. And, and, and 
and be like, you know what, rather you than Rawls or Valchek or whoever else they might pull from West Bubble Fuck, you know, to move them out here. Because that's what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to pull somebody from out the district, probably even out the city, maybe even out the state, just to bring them all the way over here and potentially do worse at a higher salary or the same with a higher salary. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a sticky situation, but I guess... I, I assume it's going to come out, though, because we don't even really know what it's about. And there's no way they're going to just play with us like that since season one about this information and not give us the the lowdown on that shit. So it's it's going to come out. Like, I hope it but, does, because it seemed also, too, that Daniel's wife was somewhat implicated in this as well, because he said yeah, it could damage yeah. both of us. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm curious if we ever going to really find out what's, what's the dirty details, the dirty laundry. Is it really as bad as that they're making it seem, or is it just something that can be easily yeah. missing screw? I don't know. I don't know. They about to pull out the they about to pull out the files and it's gonna say Daniels Barksdale. Like, <laughs> like this nigga, this nigga really in Barksdale this whole time. Like in the beginning he was he was helping fund the money to Davis and shit, mm-hmm. like you're stupid. And then eventually clean his act. No, nah, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm really interested to see what it is and yeah. how deep it goes. Because I was actually surprised to see his wife this episode and shit. Like, mm-hmm. and then when she did say that, you're right. I definitely piqued my interest. Like, oh damn, okay, a couple people here. Yeah, but but that also includes Burrell too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's just like man, but he already on the way out. So. What a situation. Like said, when it come what to a situation. Also, too, that kind of ties into the whole newspaper uh, guy. I forget his name. The one that tells lies. Um, I wonder if that's something that Daniels will call out so they could kind of be like, hey, this dude is a fucking, he's a phony, he's a liar. So hmm. hopefully, hopefully we could get some type of, you know. Yeah. Something I think done about Steven. that. I think his name is Steven. Mm. I think. Yeah, he looks like uh looks like Beavis. I feel like his editor is like like he has a hunch, but he just can't do nothing about it because he doesn't have like flat evidence. Yeah. But I feel like he knows like this motherfucker be bullshitting. Man. He always comments about it. Yeah, like he always try to push it, like, mm-hmm. would you get this from this and that? And then he just heard what he heard from Norman the night before. So I don't think he was believing what he said and that he got that from the Reese. Like, so mm-hmm. we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens with his character. The newsroom is still slightly confusing, like, because I just don't know how shit works <laughs> in the newsroom. So it's all just a learning experience. I mean, I understood the layoff. That's for sure. Like, I yeah. got that. Yeah, the layoff um, so sounded that like some regular... Yeah, warehouse anywhere you, you feel me employee type shit like you know, well we're, we're just gonna have to do more work with less people guys all right 16 mm-hmm. hour shifts like what that's the theme though that's the theme more <laughs> more with less mm-hmm. that's that's how they doing right now in the in the district the pd yeah. yep that's how they doing right that's now facts. in the newsroom that's facts that right. really is the theme so far mm-hmm. more with less wow <laughs> we <Ooh>. popping off baby <laughs> Um, last thing I just want to say is the whole Michael scenario Michael. situation that they're kind of throwing up here is basically that he's, you know, fighting between whether he wants to commit to this life or not. Um, especially in, after now that he's pretty much in the deep end right now. So, um, I'm interested to see where this goes. I hope so far Michael's storyline has been pretty crazy um from cuddy getting shot and you know a whole bunch of other shit going down him bodying people like it's been pretty pretty crazy so far so i'm i'm definitely interested to see where they're gonna take this this uh i don't know man i called it man called what i I called it, bro. I said Michael was softening up. I told you he wasn't trying to be a super gangster when, when what was it, last episode or something when that shit happened? I was like, he ain't, yeah. he ain't with that shit, man. He ain't, he was making them comments like, why, they ain't do nothing. Why we got to do this and that and blah, blah, blah. So I already, I already see this trajectory coming, man. It makes sense, man. This man, he's just trying to still be a kid. But if I'm being honest, 
and this I don't know this might hurt some of some of y'all feelings but I don't even care what happens to Michael like, <laughs> <laughs> bro I can't even hold son see like I don't know I feel like the lack of of their presence just makes me care less about their story now like like when they were watching them as the summer boys in season four it was like damn like this this is fucked up but now like he has his own crib you know what i'm saying like yeah he's taking care of his little brother which sucks like that's a responsibility he shouldn't have at his age <clears throat> but it's just that i don't know he's just in a position where this the the sympathy kind of starts to wear off and the empathy kind of wears off a little bit for me like shit i'm mm. i'm more so still worried about how randy doing right now low-key yeah like or how Naaman's doing this if he's still having a positive uh trajectory in his life like michael's story he just pretty much became like another Bodie damn near like he became he be not even a Bodie. He, he, he became like will if will survived if will never snitched yeah you know what i'm saying like yeah, yeah. so it's just like not to say that his character is no longer interesting to me, but I'm just like I'm ready. I'm already ready to move on <laughs> with the rest of this shit. Like, <laughs> well, I agree with you on that. It's not as uh, impactful, but I think because of that, like you said, it's because we had the entire summer void, you know, mm -hmm. as as a whole, and everything kind of intertwined and bounced off, you know, uh, those characters pretty well. So we don't have yeah. that no more. So it, it does kind of seem a little interjected here and there especially in this episode you know let's go to six flags yeah but like it's just we don't have no more of his personal life but that's because his personal life is just a corner boy now that's the much. thing so it's like yeah even if we were to watch him on a daily it'd just be him standing on the corner so there's nothing there's nothing left there like they don't show his mother anymore yeah you know what i'm saying like step pops is <clears thros> r.i.p so we don't care about that no more so it's just like I guess they want to hit that. I hope final he survives, beat. though. Yeah, yeah, they want to hit that. I do hope final he survives, beat. though. And yeah. hopefully, it, it ends with him <laughs> exactly surviving that final. Him and Dookie beat. making it out. You know what I'm saying? Let's him hope. and Dookie. Dookie, man. Yeah. But ah, well, this episode was alright, man. How about you? Uh, any final thoughts? Or you want to get to school? Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm good on this, man. I'm good on this. This was a. a this is a cool episode. I'll give this one. Let me see. Do it. I'll give this one an 8.5. This was there was there was a lot of little like minor things here and there that I was enjoying about this episode. Um and I really liked the Lester, the Lester serial killer shit. Okay. <laughs> I was okay. He, he uh, enjoys the Lester serial killer. Right, cause I'm I'm with it. I'm glad that I'm glad that McNulty got that detective to finally catch on, and I'm glad that, no. like I said, them 22 bodies, bro. That shit, that's a lot. That's so I'm with it. So I'll give this a five. I'll give it a five. All right. Um, I'll give this one a seven five. Um, I think this episode was overall just a good episode. Um, definitely some things here that kind of have me a little bit worried about where is it going to land at but overall I, I enjoyed the episode though had a fun ride McNulty is definitely still one of my favorite characters <laughs> even <laughs> after all this uh, still one of my favorite characters but I, I can't wait to see how how much further they're going to have to go in order to get this you know approved and stuff like that to get it Get it rolling so they can get the funds coming in and uh, finally get shit done. Facts. But there you have it, man. 7.5, 8.5 for my host over here. Y'all already know what it is, man. If y'all still tuning in, man, we appreciate each and every single one of y'all. Thanks for tuning in. If y'all haven't already, man, listen, like the video, comment down below, let us know what you thought of this episode. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. The goal is 10K. And if you're into the full length reactions, Patreon. And if you're into the full length reactions, bring your own copy. Patreon link is in the description below. F double R. <clears throat> Damn.
F double R is out. Peace. Peace. <laughs>